All right, so we're gonna be removing this, uh, the serpentine belt to swap it out, replacing the tensioner pulley and the idler pulley. Um, let me see if you can, let me see if I can get in there so you can see that, that, that there is the idler pulley. Then if we go just a little further down, you can see the tensioner, the tensioner pulley. Now I believe that tensioner pulley to remove that, it's a 10 millimeter socket. And to be removing the idler should be a 13 millimeter socket if I'm not mistaken. Now let's talk about releasing pressure to remove the serpentine belt. So down in this area here, there's a hole where a 3 8 ratchet should be able to fit in. And pulling that towards the right, towards the driver's side, should release tension to remove the serpentine belt. So this is the tensioner pulley. This is what we're looking at down there. And it basically sits like this. This is that 3 8 ratchet hole that you would put your ratchet in. And then you'd be pulling towards the driver's side which would cause or which would release the tension on the serpentine belt. And follow my finger goes down underneath that wheel and then it runs to this wheel but then it curves in and then goes over that wheel. It goes over to the tensioner. It goes down and around underneath that wheel and then goes up and around the idler. See that? I also went ahead and made me a little quick sketch of a map on how to um, replace it or how the belt goes only because most vehicles have <clears throat> a sticker or something here something like this one that'll tell you how that belt runs but unfortunately mine doesn't so believe me a little sketch like this will save a big ass headache later when you don't know how to put that belt back with the ratchet into that tensioner pulley. We're gonna pull towards the driver's side. And as you can see, the belt loosens up. So we'll pull the belt off of the alternator. And we'll go ahead and pull that tensioner back to where it was at, slowly. All right. got that uh, 10 millimeter socket onto that tensioner. I'll go ahead and remove this tensioner real quick. So we got that, uh, that bolt off. We got that screw off. And here's the old tensioner pulley. All right, we switch sockets. Switched it over to a 13 millimeter socket. We get this uh, idler pulley off.
that's what it looks like with both pulleys off. So you have where your, your idler pulley goes and then down here where your tensioner pulley goes. Right now it's pretty much just uh, reversing the process. I got the new uh, idler pulley on and I am using the same um, hardware screws and washers, the same original ones. Um, but yeah, I'm just pretty much reversing the process here and then I'll be jumping down to that tensioner pulley and reversing the process pretty much. On the tensioner pulley, you will see and notice a piece that goes in down in here. Basically fits like a puzzle piece. Cannot go wrong with it. Okay, we got that uh, tensioner pulley in. We're gonna go ahead and screw this on finger tight and then grab that ratchet and sockets. And we'll only be doing hand tight, not too hard. We don't wanna damage anything. Then we'll be replacing the serpentine belt. Okay, I got that brand new belt on. Um, I wasn't able to record. I had to use both hands to try and get that belt on, but it's on as you can see the brand new idler the brand new tensioner pulley got the brand new belt we're going to be starting the car and see how it reacts